Hi, student success. This is your week eight, therefore your last week video. I know that hopefully that's exciting. We're at the end of the semester. Um, a few of you have actually already wrapped up at this point because week eight did open early uh, at the end of week seven for anyone to get a head start on finishing up the course. So some of you may not even need to watch this video. But I'm going to try to kind of keep it short and sweet as we're wrapping things up and just kind of cover what we're going to be doing in week eight and just kind of tie things up nicely here. Okay, so in our lessons area, by the time you're viewing this, week eight will be open. So we'll click into week eight. Now week eight actually covers two chapters, uh, chapter three and chapter nine. So I'll just briefly talk about those and then you can kind of click around inside those chapters as needed or maybe something sticks out to you is interesting or you need to work on. So first thing I'm gonna open up like chapter three and of course, when you go to get to that, you know, go into your materials folder and there's a link and then there's a full screen um, like PowerPoint and video there. So that's if you wanted to kind of look at that information a little bit deeper. For now, I'm just going to go into the text. So chapter three is about thinking about thought. And so it's going to walk you through. There's like a little self-survey, you know, how are you self-assessing on these different areas of like metacognition. But then it's also going to go into what are the different types of thinking? You know, how do they help you with your learning? They're going to go over something called Bloom's tech, um, taxonomy, which is the different levels of understanding, uh, which is quite common in education in particular. They talk about Bloom's quite frequently. And then they're going to talk about critical thinking and, and how to become more of a critical thinker and the importance of the process of critical thinking, especially as both like a college student and just as a general consumer of information, especially, you know, right now we have all this information coming at us and, and some of it's credible, some it's not. So being a critical thinker is really helpful in kind of processing that information. Then it goes into the importance of just kind of looking for the moment where you understand and becoming more of a creative thinker. So again, I'm going to encourage you to kind of look through here. It's going to talk about problem solving, decision making. So lots of information, again, about kind of just the thinking process. And then there's some chapter activities. So that is chapter three. And again, I encourage you to you know look around. If you want to pull up the little video and watch it, you're welcome to do that as well. Now in your syllabus, you'll see in week eight, there was a chapter three assignment. I crossed that out and got rid of it. Um, not that I don't like the assignment, but the assignment directions called for you to get together with like a group of people and kind of brainstorm and do this kind of creative thinking assignment. And I just thought, you know, in light of obviously COVID and things like that, I didn't even want to have to, you know, have anyone put in that position if, if someone wasn't readily available to you. And so I just got rid of it. And so that's why you'll see in the week eight area, you'll see that crossed out. And then when you go into the assignments, you'll see it cross out again, and I completely deleted it, so you don't even have access to it. So that's why, if, if anyone's confused, like Chapter 3, I took it out because it had you kind of working with a group, uh, which sometimes is difficult even in a regular semester, but especially with everything going on right now. So that is Chapter 3, talking about creative thinking, critical thinking, the thinking and decision-making process. So I do encourage you to spend some time looking at that. All right. Also in week eight, as I mentioned, we're in chapter nine. So I'll click on chapter nine. It'll take you to our textbook link. And this is going to talk about like the social aspect of college, uh, your social circle, your cultural circle, diversity, getting involved in campus. And so you can see kind of the different links here, getting along with other people, which obviously is important in college and the workplace, uh, the importance of diversity and just kind of acknowledging that we live in a very diverse society and how can we make sure that we are culturally aware of just lots of different backgrounds and how that's important and beneficial in the workplace as well as in the collegiate atmosphere. So lots of different, like here's like little scenarios, how would you do in these situations? Um, so lots of information here. And then it talks about kind of getting involved with campus groups. The importance and benefit of being involved on campus is also listed there. And 
I can't recall if I went over this before, so I'm just going to real quickly show you. At the Stark State College homepage, under Info for Current Students, since Chapter 9 talks about being involved, here's a link for student clubs. And you can click on that link. And then there's all the student clubs that we have here on campus, tons of them. So I apologize again if this is a review. I'm teaching a couple different classes this semester, so I couldn't recall if I went over this with you all or not. But you can click on one and it'll drop down and tell you what it's about, who the advisor is, and then you can either email the advisor or go to the website and look to see, you know, are they meeting virtually even or in the fall or are they coming back so that's just another way to get involved on campus uh, it also builds your resume it also gets you connected with other people network opportunities so lots of lots of opportunities there so that's chapter nine so again i encourage you to look through there there are slides and then embedded in here is the link to the student organizations as well as multicultural affairs since it connects to that cultural piece of chapter nine all right so in week eight, then, since I took away the one assignment, you only have one assignment to do, which, again, some of you completed last week already. So you'll click on it. It's Cultural Intelligence Survey. It's going to do like a pop-up. Cultural Intelligence plays a... It's going to be one of those moving along, answer some questions, and then make sure you let the very last slide run all the way to the end. And then make sure your grade copies over in the grade book because it is an automatically graded assignment. So I go into Blackboard and I should already see it there. So make sure that it doesn't just read in progress, that the actual thing has completely copied over. So that's what you are completing for week eight. That's your only assignment. And as it's mentioned out here, our class is ending this Friday. There's no discussion form. So week eight attendance is based on completing that one assignment by Friday, July 24th. So the semester for our summer class is ending on Friday. So about 10 o'clock that night, the course will close and I will have your grades completely wrapped up. Um, as you finish the course, I have been, because some of you have mentioned has finished already, I have been emailing you and saying, hey, you're done. You finished with an A, a B, whatever. I let you know. And that way you know that you're good. And then eventually you'll see that grade posted into my Stark State whenever the college releases those grades. Uh, so week eight, one assignment even though there's two chapters, chapter three and chapter nine, there's only one assignment, the Cultural Intelligence Survey, due by Friday, July 24th. That's when the course closes, and that'll serve as your week eight attendance. One other um, week will be open at the very beginning of week eight. Week three will be reopened. So you'll see week three will be open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this coming week of week eight. So the 20th, 21st, 22nd, um, week three will be open for anyone who needs to make up some points from that particular week. And that's all the makeup work. So at this point, week one was reopened, week two was reopened, and now week three. So three of the weeks have been reopened for anyone to make up those points. So please take advantage of that if you are able to and if you need to. So again, week three will only be reopened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then the last thing, if you have not already in your Blackboard course, click over here, my survey dashboard. Now, if I click on it, there's not going to be anything there because I'm not a student. But when you click on it, it'll show you the courses that you're currently taking where there's an evaluation accessible. So if you have not filled out the evaluation yet, because they did send an email to all students about two weeks ago now, I think, about uh, your evaluations, please go ahead and fill in there and, and click. It's anonymous and just you know, fill out the course eval if you wouldn't mind doing that. So that is it, everyone. Uh, I want to thank you so much for a great semester. Um, I know for some of you online learning, this was brand new. And so there was a learning curve. I appreciate you being patient and asking questions. For others of you, this was already you were accustomed to it, or maybe you've been familiar. So I, again, appreciate you, you know, working through this. And if you need anything in the fall semester, always feel free to reach out and contact me. And uh, if we are back face to face, hopefully, which we're planning to, always feel free to stop by in my office, E244, and say hello. Uh, and then I hope everyone has a great rest of the summer and a good start to their fall semester. Okay, for the final time. Bye.